everybody. Happy Tuesday. First of all, happy World Tarot Day. I had no clue that today was World Tarot Day, but I wanted to give you guys my weekly um, message for this week, starting with the 6th, which was yesterday, going into the 10th, which is going to be Friday. So I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are having a great, great Tuesday thus far. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing, for commenting under my videos. I'm trying some new things. I'm trying to do things kind of like, not different, but just things that I want to do. Um, for those of you that would like a reading outside of what I do and what I have to offer, you can go to my website, which is psychicleo.com. All my information is down below. So I wanted to give you my weekly forecast for this week. So that's from the 6th, which was yesterday, until the 10th, which is Friday. So today's card of the week is the Page of Cups. Hope you guys can see that. There we go. There we go. All right, the Page of Cups. So what does this mean, you may ask? What does it mean? So the Page of Cups is basically... Number one, let's let's kind of dissect it a little bit. So in the uh, tarot, tarot is based on a card game, of course, a European card game. But in it, you have your knights, your pages, your queen, your queens, and your kings. Um, and you also have no, you don't have a jack, but it's based on cards, like regular playing cards. So a page basically is someone who gives you a message. So this is basically a message of self-love. That's what this is about. So this, so this week, it's really about loving yourself. But at the same time, don't be so engrossed in you that you don't see anything else. Because this also tells the story of uh, Narcissus and how he was so enhanced, and in, uh, not enhanced, entranced by his reflection that he basically drowned. Um, so it's basically a, a cautionary tale saying, love yourself, get to know who you are, but at the same token in time, don't be so into you that, you know, you can't see straight. And also, cups deal with emotions. So you may feel this week that you're highly emotional. You may feel that um, you wear your emotions on your sleeve this week. You may find yourself really making choices that before you didn't want to make. Um, also, we're going into, we are, well, now we're going into, we are in Saturn retrograde. So retrogrades are all about renewing, reviewing, reshaping, um, removing, you know, rekindling, tying up loose ends. So Saturn deals with the central nervous system. It deals with the bones. It deals with lessons. It deals with discipline. So if you take that into account along with this particular card for this week, it basically is telling us like, hey, if you really want to love yourself or you really want to make peace with your emotions, you have to do the work. You have to re-examine, renew, review, and release things that don't serve you anymore. Um, this also deals with, because cups also deal with love. So it also deals with love and relationships. So you might be embarking on somebody new or somebody new is coming into your life or you're finding new ways of loving yourself. You're finding like a new spiritual tradition. You're finding new ways of saying or expressing yourself, self-expression. It may be a new passion. It may be a new business, you know, new art, things like that. Um, and then if, and I'm going to, I'm going to do both the upright and the reverse. So I'm going to do both. So even if this is reversed, it basically means that your journey to self-acceptance, to loving yourself is going to be slow. The slow and steady wins the race. That um, you may not be able to pay attention because you're so engrossed in whatever it is you feel. Oftentimes in life, our emotions can, be, um, can override our logic and we can be very reactionary. So, we'll so emotions can be presented as fact. Um, even with everything that's going on right now, even, you know, in the world, it feels that way. It feels like we're kind of walking on eggshells. So you may feel that way too. Uh, you may feel like things are stuck. You may feel like, oh my God, I just feel like I'm not growing or I'm growing, but I'm growing in a negative and not in a positive way. 
So things of that nature. So this, the energies for this week are very, mm, they're very topsy-turvy, but I think it depends on how you look at it and what you choose to do with it. It's like anything in life, you know, yes, you may have heavy things upon you, but it's all about how you carry the load. You know what I mean? How you carry what's, you know, given to you. So I wanted to give you guys my weekly forecast. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. If you like a reading from me, if you like a one-on-one -on -one consultation, you are more than welcome to log on to my website, which is psychicleo.com. That's psychicleo.com. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That keeps me in the algorithm of, of Miss YouTube. And, you know, leave your comments below. H how are you feeling this week? Do you feel topsy-turvy? Are you embarking on a new love or a new project? Are you really learning to love yourself and put yourself first? Are people around you saying like, oh my God, you know, there's just something different about you. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something different. You know, what do you feel? How do you feel? What's going on with you this week? Leave your comments below and let me know because dialogue is very important. So until next time, my sugar bears, thank you guys so much for watching, for commenting. And most of all, for subscribing. And I will see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.